It's Kong's Fest on the Beach. We are here with Shania Kato, and Shania is a committee member of the Kong's Festival Committee, and she's going to tell us what we can expect today. Hi, everyone. My name is Miss Shania Kato. So today is Kong's Fest, well, actually, one of the three activities um, that would be hosted. And today is just like a, a, Kong's, a Kong's Fest line, just a beach line. Friday was Kong on the street, Saturday we have the official festival day where there were competition, um, Kong shell blowing, Kong cleaning and those stuff and today is just like a basic line. Alright, so are, can we expect persons inside with um, Kong dishes, uh, uh, different ways of doing Kongs and, and just people holding a bike? Yeah, so there are many Kongs dishes available. We have um, stew Kong, curry Kongs, Kongs kebab, everything Kong, because this is the Kongs festival, so everything must be Kong. All right, so Shania, uh, we spoke to some persons yesterday and trying to get a, uh, a feel from them about how they, they see this Kong festival helping the tourism product, helping Union Island, helping the Grenadines, helping St. Vincent on a whole. How do you think, as a, a younger person in um, St. Vincent, how do you think that this festival will help our tourism product? Well, you know, Kong is a, a big industry where it plays a big part in the economic um, activity. So the younger, the younger fellas normally goes out to dive and so forth and they bring in Kongs every day, many Kongs, and this is how they earn a living. And Union Island is one of the main places where Kong diving happens. Thank you, Shania. Let's get into um, Kongs on the beach and see what's happening. So the first time we come was the very first time they had Kong Fest on Union Island. Nice. And it was wonderful. Right. And so, now, so did you plan your trip for this time? We did not plan it. But because we're staying on Myro with our family, we come back here knowing that it's Kong Fest. And this is the best place on Sparrows Beach right here. Can't get any better than this, I tell you. What, what's your name? My name is Jess. All right, Jess. Well, thank you for coming and continue to enjoy. Absolutely. Everybody, enjoy! Here we go, come fast! Woo! Once you enjoy yourself, everybody else must enjoy yourself. Tell me what's your name and what did you enjoy most about the whole Kongs Fest weekend? I'm Ziron. And what I enjoyed most about the Kong Fest is dancing big jump with my mom and my sister yesterday. I've left home almost four years now and that made me feel like I am home again and I'm part of a home. So we are at Kongs on the beach and this is the last day of the Kongs festival and we ran into entertainer Mr. Kyron Batiste and he's gonna tell us what he thinks of the festival and how things went for him. Well, first of all, I must say uh, it's my first time coming to Kong's Festival and the energy is mad. I, I um, normally don't be home for it, 
was my first time and the organizers reached out to me and said that they would like to have me come down and perform. I mean, everything was organized properly, they take good care of me and everybody's been having a good time. I was out Friday night, Saturday night, so, well tonight and uh, tomorrow I'm going back up. Well, it, it, it's Kong's Fest, did you have any Kong? Yeah, I had some Kong soup and um, some Kong sauce. I was gonna try the curry kung, but um, I, I don't think it was the right time for me because, <laughs> you know, I didn't want to feel sick. Are you watching your weight there? Ah, uh, well, that too. But yeah, hey, I'm, I'm getting old, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How you doing? Bro? <laughs> All right. So from Kong's Fest in Union Island, I am Yinka Chambers for the API. This is my ride. We gotta catch the plane.